draw a picture. What are we going to draw? I don't know. Let's just do what we like to do usually. Start drawing randomly. legs in. You know what? I think that jaw should not come down like that. It should be more like this. It's got its claws. It's got its back leg. And let's think, what's its back gonna do? Maybe... Oh, I've got a cool idea. Okay. Tail goes like this. Yeah, why not have three tails? No one ever said we couldn't. You know what? I just had an idea. Okay, I just decided those are gills. And these just became tentacles. They were tails, now they're tentacles. Okay, let's do some spots. Look at that. Okay, now let's do a seafloor bed. Alright, seafloor bed, here we come. And maybe over here, we're going to do these right here. And then there's a shell right here. And there's some more things here in the ocean. Seaweed or something, who knows. Just start drawing randomly. Because it's kind of fun that way. And there's something way off in that distance over there, and maybe there too. Who knows? Right now, it looks like it could be land. If we wanted to, we could change this to land right now. But no, we're going to make it stay in the water. So how do we do that? Well, we add things like bubbles. We're going to add little fishes in there in the background. bubbles all the way off in there, back around there. And then, what else are we going to add? Well, probably a little squiggly lines. Give the illusion of being in the water. And then, we dot the ground to make it feel like he's on sand. Alright. So now we gotta color him. Let's get out some of our important colors. We'll need yellow. We need some blue. Let's get that blue line right here. Some good blues. There's some cool blues too. Here's a better yellow. We're gonna use that yellow. And then what should he be? I think. 
Huh. I think in green, maybe. But, no, uh, blue kind of fits in. I'll just make him a different shade of blue. Okay. So, let's get these colors. We're going to use this blue for shading in him. What does it even say? Uh, Mediterranean teal. Oh, okay, he's a Mediterranean teal color. Just like we always do, we accentuate the highlights. I mean, we just retrace the lines in the color. Pretty darn simple. Okay, so he's already all colored. And then we'll go ahead and trace his claws. These are blue claws. Now we just fill in him in. He's colored. Now let's do some coral and stuff, whatever these things are. I think I'll make these red back here. That's what they are. Maybe this one's red too, but maybe the so the ones are green. So we'll make these green. And that shell, what color should he be? Let's just make him purple. Purple shell, why not? Okay. Now the sand. I think I'll highlight with a darker yellow. This part of the sand right here. Then I'll color in and color in the sand. It's so funny how I started out thinking this guy was going to be on the ground, he turned out to be in the water. Okay, in the background, let's make them purple too. Okay, now to color the water, let's. Let's use this blue. Alright. Now I'll color it in too. Alright, and there's the water. You know what? I think it needs to be darker. I think that'll make it feel more like water. Just give it a second coating. And I've just decided I'm going to put in a jellyfish. Yeah, let's put another one. A lot of sea life in here. Okay, now let's give it a name. Okay, I've got it. Completely making up on the spot. Underwater Sea Bowl. Okay, because that kind of looks like a cow. It's under the sea. Or it's Sea Bowl. Or actually, you know what? I'm changing my mind. Underwater tentacle bowl. Underwater tentacle bowl. That's much cooler. Okay. Type is water. Now, what is his description? Grazes on seaweed on the Ocean floor and likes to be left alone. Why not? Okay. Cost, damage, and health. Hmm. What is his damage and health? I'm thinking. Yep, 
His damage is 3, and his health is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. So his cost is 6. Alright. That's all done. Now I get to fill in with all these highlights. Gonna use a little bit darker blue to do the borders. Shade in the boxes. And then we get a small little deck protector sleeve and throw them in. And then just like that, we've got ourselves a new card. The underwater tentacle bowl.